Hello, hello, Starfield fans. This is Meatball coming at you from the Dell Do It Yourself channel. So, Starfield Early Impressions. The game released in early, and for those who pre ordered it, it released September 1st. I got a chance to play it Friday for a little bit initially. It started off really strong for me. Uh, just to give you a quick rundown of kind of what happened leading up to this. So, it was first announced at E3 2018, but the real excitement I think has been building for the last three or so years since it gets brought up again as more gameplay is revealed, more trailers start coming out. And as of this video releasing, there are two days until the Starfield Standard version comes out, so everyone who ordered the Standard version will get to play it and see Starfield in all its glory. And there will definitely be some major bugs that Bethesda is likely ironed out at that point. Major. Probably a day one patch will go out. Uh, some things that I liked about the game. The navigation map is easy to interact with. It's easy to point and click, and everything is bound to a key on your keyboard. So it, the UI definitely does not feel cluttered at all. It doesn't feel overly complicated, which I appreciate in a space simulator, because you're going from missions in space to missions on the ground to using guns in, in fights and all that. Uh, I haven't seen any issues with stuttering at all, so no tearing, no pixel, no pixelation. Except for in certain cases when, unless you dial down, unless you have the resolution super dialed down, you get almost no pixelation when looking at things far away. Uh, and I have a RTX 3060, so I find that it's best to play on medium settings. I can usually hit FP. 60 FPS in most cases. From my research, I tend to get 80 plus FPS on the all low settings with motion blur turned off. And on medium settings, the lowest I tend to see is 54, 55 FPS, but it usually hovers at a pretty solid 60 FPS in relatively simple environments with not a lot going on. And the tech tree, oh my goodness, you have so many options for character customization. You can specialize in combat, you can specialize in piloting, you can specialize in medicine, you can specialize in building, you can specialize in, anim in alien biology if you wanted to. There's a decent amount of character customization. You can add up to three traits to your character, which is really cool. There's a lot of neat traits in there that I'm want I I'm interested in doing multiple builds in this game so I'm it has a lot of replay value I can already see that I only encountered one bug so far where an enemy was just floating in midair as I was fighting a group of guys in a base so I'm currently at 12 hours of gameplay and my characters my character is level 6 I named him Timmy of course and he's a redhead because why not to add a little more context, my build is an RTX 3060 with a Ryzen 5 RX 5600, 5600 CPU, and the AMD, I believe it's 570 or 670 motherboard with 16 gigs of RAM, and I'm using a stock CPU cooler. But the AMD Stealth Wraith cooler that comes with the, with the came with the CPU I bought. I put new thermal, I applied new thermal paste to the CPU, so I had to make some adjustments to it, and my computer is working just fine, runs like a new machine still, load times are fantastic, and another thing I'm hoping to see for this game is, is a more quest variety, in titles like Fallout New Vegas, or a lot of the Elder Scrolls games, a lot of the quests just tend to be fetch quests. So, in a fetch quest, usually you start the quest by talking to a character, they tell you to go get something. So you walk or fast travel to wherever point you're trying to get to, and it tells you on the map, you get that thing, or you fight a guy somehow, then you go back, quest over. So I'm hoping for some interesting implementations of going from space to the ground, or 
either using different resources to craft a certain weapon, to complete a certain quest. So quests that are more complex or take multiple steps, I'd appreciate. Uh, the introductory quest, inter getting introduced to Constellation. I really like it. I really like the characters. I really like the interactions you have with them. And they feel like real people, too. It's The dialogue doesn't feel super robotic, which I can appreciate. So as far as playing more of the game, yeah, I'm hoping to get 500 hours out of this. I like it a lot so far. As someone coming from Elite Dangerous, doing this space exploration thing and having your own ship, exploring a galaxy, it's fantastic. The sense of scale, the sense of awe, visiting a new planet for the first time, it's just, ooh, I love that. Yeah, I'm hoping to do a Let's Play for the channel, so um, I want to keep you guys updated. So for my first character, I'm hoping to make somebody that can explore, that specialized in exploration and being able to talk to people. So things like persuasion checks are usually really helpful in this game because they can get you more rewards for doing a certain quest or unlocking certain options for a quest that you wouldn't otherwise have if you had specialized in something like combat. So. So Starfield is interesting in the way that skill point upgrades work. So when you unlock a skill, you have four tiers of that skill. So for example, Persuasion, that has four love that has four different levels to it. And you have to complete a challenge in order to be able to unlock it, the next rank of that skill. So if I have two skill points, I can't just spend I can't just rank up Persuasion or melee damage twice. I have to unlock it initially, have that, which opens up that that next tier to be unlocked, and then you spend that other skill point again. Um, depending on if you're... I can see people having a mixed reaction to that if you don't especially like the idea of grinding through certain skills or maxing out that one skill you really want but is actually a chore to level instead of just earning XP to unlock it. So this has been the Starfield First Impressions video. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe if you want to see more Starfield content like this. So we're hoping to push stuff out to the channel. Keep you guys in the loop on all things Starfield. So see you next time.